Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. Today we'll be covering the Tiny Box of Raisins quest guide for the Festival of the Lost. This is a pain in the ass, so I'm going to get into it. I hate this quest. This quest is evil. I don't like it. It takes way too long. And I stayed up way too late completing it, so we're going to dive into it. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the Tangled Shore and see Spider, because, you know, he's a curator of mysterious earth artifacts. As to why he wants a box of raisins, I don't know. But once we talk to Spider, he will then give us another quest step. As for this quest step, it's not too tedious. We just need to go around the Tangled Shore, kill Fallen, Scorn, Hive, and... Who else am I missing? Cabal. So we have to kill 12 each, simply for the Fallen going to Thieves Landing. And then once you kill a bunch of Fallen in Thieves Landing, you know, it's just 12. You can do the public event. You can do whatever. Just wander around the area. There's so many Fallen. Just kill them as you go. As for the Scorn, you want to load up the Lost Sector Kingship Dock. There is literally, you know, an abundance of Scorn here. So, you know, just kick their asses. You'll be done with that. Then for Cabal, you want to load up Sorex Cut. Once you load up Sorex Cut, simply wander around. You know, the Cabal are literally everywhere, so it's fine. Kill 12 Cabal, then move on to the Jetsam of Saturn. So simply fast travel back to Thieves Landing. And then go to the left, and you'll be in Sor or, sorry, the Jetsam of Saturn. Once you're in the Jetsam of Saturn, and you kill 12 of each enemy, you will then get the even-handed quest step to go speak with Spider. Once you speak with Spider, he will then give you a new quest step. This quest step is called the Winged Chew, and now we need to go see Anastasia Bray on Mars. So once we load up the Braytech Futurescape, what you want to do is you want to go talk to Anna Bray. Once you talk to Anna Bray, she will then give you a new part of the quest called Armed to the Teeth. For this part of the quest, we need 12, not 12, I keep saying 12, 10 kinetic, 10 energy, and 10 power weapon kills. Doesn't matter what weapons you use, guys, but as for your power weapon, I would highly recommend using a sword, just because then that way you'll have more chances to get charges, you know, you can use whatever. I use a sword just because, in my opinion, it's easier. But once you get all 10 of those kills each, so total 30 kills, you need to go back and talk to Anna Bray. I recommend using the Lost Sector Core Terminus. It's way easier than just wandering around the map, and all the ads are to yourself, so you got no blueberries killing them. But once we go talk to Anna Bray, she will then give us the new part of the quest which will require us to go speak to a certain Jensen scribe on io what we want to do is we want to load up io and go speak to asher mir once we're on io asher will then give us the next part of the quest Hello. precisely which requires us to get precision kills on both vex and taken enemies this isn't too difficult i recommend putting on a bow because the bows can just one shot the ads and then you know the vex have the little trouble of uh, you know crouching down so that's a bit, a bit of an issue simply from Asher Mir go to the left into the Sanctum of Bones Lost Sector Once you get 10 kills of the Taken in there you want to go to the very right side of the map uh, Sorry drive towards the Pyramidian and then you want to go down to the Endless Gate Which is located around this area here go down into the Endless Gate and there will be a bunch of Vex that you can just keep killing Once you get 10 precision kills there the quest will then move on to the next part which requires us to go speak to Ashramir again. This part, the Endless Gate, is really easy because no no blueberries will come in and steal your kills, so that's the good part. Go return to Asher, and once you return to Asher, he will then give you the next part of the quest, which is a piece of celery. Guardian. You're joking, right? Yeah, I'm not. So he will give you a piece of celery, which requires us to go to the worst area in Destiny, Mercury. Destiny 1, it was cool. Destiny 2, it just sucks. So we gotta go speak to one of the worst NPCs in the game, Brother Vance. Once we talk to Brother Vance, he will then say that we need to get 10 Arc, 10 Void, and 10 Solar Kills. This can be done with any weapon. Again, I would recommend going into the Lost Sector, as I do on screen. Go into the Lost Sector, get the 10 kills, it's not too difficult. You know, you can use blue guns, purple guns, whatever. Doesn't, 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 it really doesn't matter as long as you use a gun with the particular burn. So simply get all those kills, and once you get all those kills, we need to return to Brother Vance again. Simply go back to Brother Vance after you get all the kills for In Your Element. Once we talk to Brother Vance, he will then give us Splice Drops. This part of the quest requires us to now go to Nessus and talk to Failsafe located in the Exodus Black. Once we're in the Exodus Black, we went on Nessus, we want to talk to Failsafe, and she will give us the next part of the quest, Touched by Light. For Touched by Light, we need to perform ability kills on Fallen, Vex, and Cabal. For the Fallen, just run around the Exodus Black, you know, knife them, grenade them, doesn't really matter. 
as long as you get ability gills go into the orrery located it in the artifacts edge for vex kills because then you can just kill them another lost sector do and finally go into the conflux for the cabal kills located in the where the vex milk waterfall is you know you, you guys know where that is right it's a giant vex lake i don't even remember the name of it it's called the vex waterfall place so once we do that we need to go back to failsafe and talk to her and then we can finally move on to the next part of the quest, which is Salted Sweets. We now need to go to the EDZ, or the European Dead Zone, as some people like to call it, and talk to Devrim K, because, you know, we need to make sure Devrim gets that nice, good old sweet for his tea. So once we talk to Devrim, he will then tell us that we need to go perform finishers on Fallen, Cabal, and Taken. For this quest, I recommend using an assault rifle or an SMG, anything to whittle down their health. So don't use a bow because that'll probably one-shot the ads. Simply do that, run around the map. So for fallen kills, you know, fallen are everywhere. Just wander around the main area where Devrim is. As you are done those kills, move on to the the, uh, the sludge, sorry, and then wander around and kill the cabal. There's a bunch of cabal scattered around. And as for the taken, go into the lost sector, the hollowed cove, I believe that's what it's called. And then once you're in there, just keep on doing what we did normally. Whittle down their health, and then just keep performing finishers over and over. Once you're done, five finishers for each faction that we've killed. Simply return to Devrim, and then he will give us the next part of the quest. So far, you know, this has just been running around the entire game, and it's, it's been great. So once you do that, the foregone conclusions. Return to Devrim, located in the Watchtower. Talk to him. He will then give you the Sour Engram, which will lead us into the next area which we will need to go to Petrovenge on the Dreaming City. So once you do that, simply load up the map and then travel to the Dreaming City to give the Sour Engram to Petra, because you know she wants to be a part of the Festival of the Lost too. So once you talk to Petra, she will then give you the next part of the quest, Still coincidentally. Fight, and once you talk to Petra, she will, the next part of the quest is the best of my abilities. So you need to get melee, super, and grenade kills. This is pretty easy considering there's always a public event going on. So you need 5 melee, 5 grenade, and 10 super kills. What I did is I loaded up the Devalian Mists and there just so happened to be a public event here. I activated my super and you know I just got rid of every single ad in the area. Uh, if you use a melee super it actually counts as melees as well. And then I loaded up the lost sector located behind the Devalian Mists for my last couple kills. Once you get all the kills, simply return to Petrovenge and she will reward you with the Sugary Engram. Once you get the Sugary Engram, you then want to load up the map and you want to go to Titan because now we need to go talk to Sloan. Once we talk to Sloan, we then can proceed through the rest of the quest. Now, I would say for this next part of the quest that's located on Titan, so you guys already know where Titan is, it's located to everyone. We want to go give this to Sloan. This is probably the longest quote unquote part of the quest, so I'll try to explain it as best as I can. It's literally not hard. We just got to go to an obscure place. So once we talk to Sloan, she wants us, us to do a mission called Not in Our House. This is the next quest step. We need to get Solarium kills, Festering Hall kills, and Abor Aboritum, Aboritum kills. So simply what you want to do is you want to open up your map and you want to load up the rig. From the rig, you know the route that you travel to Sabathun Strike, you want to go there and you want to get kills. Now the way that I recommend doing it is just, well, follow my route the way that I did it. You want to get into the area, you know, my awesome sparrow driving. Once you're in the area, I simply kill all the ads, wipe the entire sink, like the entire room, all in all. Once you wipe the room, simply go either left or right. What I did is I went right, go right, wipe all the ads in the other part of the room, and then you'll have enough ads to the point where you need to come back into the solarium, kill all the ads in there, you'll get 100%. So basically, when you enter the room, you'll have 50% or 63 as I had. Then you'll go into the uh, festering halls. You will then have 100% of the festering halls. Simply travel back, and then you will get the rest of your solarium kills because all the ads will respawn. Once all the ads respawn in there, simply walk all the way into the ab aboretum and then get the rest of the kills located there. Once you get the rest of the kills, you know, simply just use whatever guns you want, guys. It's nothing specific. Just kill supers, guns, power weapons, doesn't matter, melees. Once you get that one, you will get not in our home quest step complete, which then requires us to go talk to Sloan. We are almost done, guys. And then we will be rewarded with the Void Fizz Candy, which that entails to us going back and returning to the person who originally gave us the quest. And of course, the person who gave us this quest was Eris. So what you want to do is you want to load up the map again. Now we need to go to the moon. 
And I would say that this is probably the easiest part of the quest. Simply talk to Eris. She will then give you the updated quest step, This, the dance of my people. For this one, whatever character you are, you'll need to dance with the base dance that you got in the beginning of the game. So Exos, it's the popping dance, the graceful dance is the awoken, and the city dance is the human. Simply load up the emote, put it on, and the quest step will initiate. And now we need to return to Eris, and I'm going to shut up because this is kind of a little mini cutscene on why Eris doesn't like the Festival of the Lost. So, spoilers guys, but here it is. I did not understand the Festival of the Lost when I first returned to the Tower. I had lost so much. My fire team. My eyes. My ghost. So to see people celebrating something so serious as loss with stupid masks and stupid candy, it was hard to understand. It felt like everyone in the tower was mocking me and all my dead friends. It took a long time for me to see that sometimes the best way to honor the dead is to live your best life and above all, to brush your teeth. Dental hygiene is key to a long life. Trust me, I should know. And that's it guys, once you are done all those quest steps, it's a long quest line, you will get a goodie bag from Eris, and she will give you a toothbrush. Yeah, we just spent an hour doing this for a toothbrush. Simply go up to the toothbrush in your inventory, hit square to use it, and once you hit use, your teeth will be brushed from all the candy that you've eaten in this game. You will then have a used toothbrush, and the triumph, a brilliant smile, will be then completed. Hang on to the used toothbrush, because knowing Bungie, they'll end up saying that you need it for an exotic or something like that, of course. So, once you're done that, that's, that's literally it. We get no triumph score, we get nothing. You know, at least with Sweet Tooth, you get an emblem. I mean, we could at least get, like, some type of emblem for this. But that's it, guys. That's the guide. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor. Like, comment down below what you think of this guide. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, and have a great day.